Hi everyone! In this video, I will show you two tips for adjusting your snare tone to match the song. First, tuning your drums to fit the song's key, and second, creating a long reverb effect for your snare without distracting the overall mix. I am Wojtek, and we are in the Hertz Recording Studio, where I've recorded over 300 albums. I've worked with bands such as Behemoth, Decapitated, Vader, and many, many more. Most people watching our channel don't subscribe to us, so please, if you enjoyed, subscribe to us and leave a like and comment to let me know what music production topics interest you. Here you can see the list of people who subscribed to us last week. Thank you very much. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can adjust the snare you choose to fit better with your track. If after spending the whole night adjusting the snare, you feel like a loser in the morning when you listen to your track again, Try this tip and let me know if it helps you. Today I took the song called Crystalline by the band Amaranth. I will start by finding the drum tuning for this ballad. To do this, I will use an analyzer and check which drum frequency is most prominent in the mix. For the snare, it's around 197 Hz. And for the kick, it's about 72 Hz. All we have to do is to choose the right snare and kick from your library. I use the Metal Unlimited from Hertz Drums. I choose the Ludwig Aluminium snare, 14 by 6.5, and, and I pitch up to the 197 Hz. On the kick, I use the Ludwig Maple 24 by 14 and also pitch up to the 72 Hz, like in the original song. Now listen to the Hertz drums. Now the original. sounds pretty good. I hear more ambience on the snare in the original track. Before we move on to the next step, let's try to move away from the original mix and find an alternative drum tuning for this recording. This tip may help you come up with the idea on how to find and adjust the right drum tuning in your recording. As we know, the snare tuning is around 197 Hz and the kick is about 72 Hz. Let's transfer those frequencies to the piano keyboard. 197 is approximately G note, in the third octave, and therefore 72 Hz, it's note D. In this composition, the chorus used chords B minor, D major, A major, B minor, the key is D major. In the verses we have chords B minor, D major, A major, E major, B minor, D major, A major, F sharp minor. This is the key of A major. How to find those chords if you don't have any musical knowledge? In most though, you will find an option which allows you to automatically detect the chords and the key for the song. It's very helpful. On the D major scale, notes D, which is the kick, and the G, which is the snare, are in the scale. In the A major scale, there is a note D, but no G note. The closest note to the G for both D major and A major scale will be F sharp. So let's lower the snare from G to F sharp, which is from 197 Hz to 185. I will compare both versions now. The version with the snare lower to F sharp. I can't 
Now the previous version with the higher snare. What do you think? This lower snare sits better in the mix? Share your opinion in the comments. Your opinion is valuable to us and will help us to expand this channel. I encourage you to download the 14-day hertz drums demo for those who want to hear what hertz drums sounds like. The next step will be to match the ambience to this beautiful song. I need a deeper and long reverb on the snare, but also one that even when loud, will not distract from the vocals or other instruments. I go into audio routing, and then I will send room samples of the snare to the channel 2. I activate an additional output in Hertz drums. Let's call it a snare room. This way I have an isolated room track from the snare. I cannot... I create a new FX channel and load Realm Reverb onto it. Of course, it could be your favorite reverb, this is just an example. The only thing I do is to reduce the decay to around 2 seconds. I go to the Snare Room channel and send it to the FX channel. This way, by adding 2 seconds of additional reverb to the ambience, I created a longer tail on the snare, which fits perfectly into the atmosphere of that ballad. Cannot wait be long enough Still burning for you To enhance the reverb effect I will make a slight adjustment to its color To achieve this I will activate the Ozone Stereo Imager which I will use to expand the reverbs with I open another plugin called Match EQ by Ozone for those unfamiliar with it, this plugin is used to match the spectrum snapshot from the reference to the snapshot of your source. In this case, our reference will be brown noise. I open the noise generator just before this plugin. I start the brown noise. I press capture in the reference section. I turn off the noise generator. Now it's time for our reverb. I play the song and press capture in the apply to section. I cannot wait be long enough Still burning for you When will I be forever locked Inside of your Cannot wait be long enough Still burning for you When will I be forever locked Inside of your heart Done. Now listen to the drums with the additional reverb. And without. For all the tones, I choose the preset from the blue pack. In the envelope shaper section, I shorten the release of the reverb 
and the room microphones to 540 milliseconds. This way I obtained a gated ambience that fits perfectly into the mood of this song. As you can see, choosing the right drum kit tuning for the song's key may be an alternative to your decision. I love to tune snares to a perfect 4 or perfect 5 to the key of the song. It adds a musical quality to the overall sound. On the top of that, by using brown noise with a reverb, you can sculpt the sound to create more space for the vocals without disturbing the high frequencies. This technique can add a nice low-end tail to the drums, enhancing their overall impact in the mix. Let me know if you found it useful. To play this drum kit, all you need is Hertz drums and Metal Unlimited and Blue Pack. The preset and the MIDI are available to download for free. You can find it below. Please, if you enjoyed the content, subscribe to this channel. That's all for today. Listen drum cover in Amarantha Crystalline. I cannot wait.